Do you want crystal clear TikTok live quality? Here are the best cameras and gear for a pro looking stream. My name's Manager John. This is personally just my recommendation. You can obviously choose other brands that you prefer, but let's dive in. Starting off with the Sony ZV-E10, which comes at a price point of under $800 with an interchangeable lens. I personally like this camera because it is a full frame and you can get a really crispy setup without breaking the bank. However, if you want something a little bit more advanced, you can check out the Sony a7C. The Sony a7C is a really good choice. It's also a full frame camera, which will give you that wide feel that you're looking for without compromising the quality. Though cameras are great, the lens matters more than you think. And here's how you can choose the right lens based off of your current setup. If you're looking at something that's close up, I would look at the 35 Sigma millimeter lens. That'll have a nice creamy background. And if you look at the numbers here, you'll see that it's a 1.4, which means that'll give you that nice blur in the background it looks super creamy and definitely make you stand out from the feed now if you're seated on the other hand what i would actually recommend is something that i'm using with this lens right now which is a sony 60 to 50 or a sigma 18 to 50 the lower the first number goes the wider your shot's actually going to be so if you're looking at different lenses make sure to look for that low number if you're trying to do a really wide shot and last but not least there's standing my personal favorite which is the 16 millimeter which is going to give you that super ultra wide look remember that we said that the lower the number is the wider it gets honestly it doesn't get much better than a 16 millimeter for the cost that it's at so now that we figured out what camera and lens that we're going to use let's dive into the actual accessories that you need to be able to go live with your camera you're definitely going to need a tripod similar to any one of these newer tripods that i have behind me or you can find a nice Manfrotto that's pretty cost effective and not too complicated to set up. Next, you'll need a capture card. I personally like the Elgato 60X that you can use to be able to read your camera from your computer. So you're gonna plug that into your camera directly into your computer. After that, you will need a micro HDMI. Now, if you choose the Sony A7C or the Sony ZV-E10, you will need a micro HDMI cord that will go into your Elgato. After that, you're gonna to wanna to purchase an L bracket. This is what allows the camera to be held vertically to be able to fit a vertical setting for your phone. And last but not least, we cannot forget the power adapter. The power adapter is essential because you don't want your camera to die in the middle of your live stream. So you'll be able to plug this directly into the wall and you'll be good to go. With the right camera lens and accessories, your TikTok Live could look like a Netflix special. Make sure to follow for more tips on how you can have the best possible setup within this series that we're gonna be rolling out. I'll see you on the next video.